when will he get off his assets and help Canadian families? <laughs> the average house price in Canada right now is seven hundred and seventeen thousand dollars. You want to know what it was last year, Mr. Speaker? Six hundred and six thousand dollars. That's an eighteen point two percent increase. Now, in twenty fifteen, when this prime minister came into office. It was $450,000. So to the Prime Minister, under what metric in the world can he explain that his plan is working? Mr. Speaker, from 2015 onwards, we began to invest in housing in this country that had been underinvested in by the federal government for many years. We came forward with the National Housing Strategy in 2017 that has led to hundreds of thousands of families getting into new homes. We further built on initiatives with, like the First Time Home buyer's incentive, like the Rapid Housing Initiative, and we've just put forward a $4 billion investment towards municipalities to help build more supply. And this contrasts with the Conservative plan to give tax breaks to wealthy landlords. Mr. Speaker, we are acting to fight this cri housing crisis. Yeah. What, what he just said is that he's offloading all the responsibility onto the provinces and the municipalities. Now, what, then he's, who he's going to blame once that fails? The provinces and the municipalities. Now, Conservatives had a plan the last election, and it was to sell off 15% of federal government assets to increase supply. So my question to the Prime Minister, when will he get off his assets? and help Canadian families. Mr. Speaker, while the Conservatives play partisan attacks, we focus on Canadians. We actually are moving forward with a $4 billion investment in municipalities to support uh, the rapid advancement of housing, the building of supply, uh, the working beyond even the rapid housing initiative we've moved forward on. We've signed landmark deals with the provinces across the country on investing in housing. We will continue to be there for first-time home buyers with a dedicated program with also the ability to reduce costs on, on closing uh, ownership. There are many initiatives we're putting forward because we know there isn't any one silver bullet to fix this. It is a comprehensive approach, and that's what we're doing.